everyone. Sorry, I am a bit late. Um, I was making stuff. <laughs> um, I was playing. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to make today. So uh, maybe you can help um, decide that. But um, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Natalie O'Shea. Um, I am here to teach you how to make handmade cards. Um, but I also sell all the products that I use as well. So if there's anything that tickles your fancy, you will find it at www.natalieoshea.stampinart.net. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can go there. But if you want to find out all about me, that's just the shop. You can go to the cardmakingacademy.co.uk. I am the proud um, founder and owner of the Card Making Academy. And it is my mission in life to teach people how to make handmade cards and make get get stop the overwhelm you kind of go if you google how to make handmade cards it's all a little bit overwhelming at the moment um just too much information so if anything like me it's overload um and so i try and make it easy i, I don't use crafting jargon i use proper english and um, try and explain everything as i go along as well um, so that is me. I don't know if we have anybody live because um, I forgot to remind you that I was here at 12. Um, but I've got a little bit of a show and tell. Um, so it's a new catalogue time, which means new products. Um, and because the catalogue went live on the 4th of June, um, I have some new products that I ordered because I couldn't resist. Um, so I've got those to share with you. Um, only a few, not too much actually. Um, oh, I've got a few sneaky peeks behind as well don't look <laughs> um and yeah so i kind of thought i'd do a bit of a show and tell a bit of a, a card um card make and i think that's kind of it today i've got a few reminders obviously the new catalog has gone live when all the description is uploaded you will see those links in the description um you've got the join offer now as well so if you have a wish list that's more than a hundred pounds then we should talk about you joining you can pick 154 pounds of goodies for just £99 delivered at the moment, um, which is just an amazing bargain. There's no catch. Um, if you're as cynical as I am, it's like, well, it can't be that good. There's got to be a catch. There absolutely isn't. Um, and talk to me more about that. I am not here to persuade you, to hard sell to you, um, or pin you to the floor until you sign the dotted line. Um, but I am here to answer any questions you have on that. Um, but if you really don't want to join, but your order is over £200, then until June the 14th, you can also get an additional £20 for free. So normally, when an order gets to £150, we give you 10% back to spend on anything you like. So let's say it's a £150 order, that is 10% um, is £15. So before you check out, we go, hey, buy whatever you want for £15. Um, but if you go to £200, that would be 10% would be £20. But Stampin' Up! are offering you another £20 as well. So £40, so spend £200, get £40 for free. That's not bad. I don't get that anywhere else I shop if I go and spend £200 somewhere. Um, so that's kind of what's going on at the moment. Card Club is open as well. So click the link um, in the description when I update it um, to find out all about Card Club. That is on at the moment. Hi, Ali. Nice of you and Polo. Nice of you to join me. Thank you. I was a bit rubbish today. I'm a bit late and I forgot to tell everybody. I've been my own little world this week. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's kind of it. So £154 for £99 if you join. If you don't want to join, you spend £200, get £40 for free. Card Club closes this Sunday. So if you want um, this month's kit, either as a one-off or discounted on the subscription, then you'll find those links in the description as well when I upload, um, when I update that date that later. So if you're watching on replay or you're watching on YouTube, they should be there. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the kind of what I need to tell you. Um, so I've got some stuff to show. Um, so let's change cameras and um, I've just got a pile, pile of stuff here. And I haven't opened any of it or anything. I literally shoved it on the side and um, thought I'd open it with you. Random stuff I've bought as well. Randomly random stuff. So let's, I mean, look at me, I've, I've been playing. So you'll see some of that later, but let's go. So Christmas, can you believe I went Christmas? I did it. Um, it's quite unusual for something up to have a new Christmas bundle in the annual catalogue. They are normally in the, um, uh, well, what will be July to December annual catalogue, um, but they did have one. And the reason I love that is this, so my, my team 
um, that joins with me uh, um, to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, whether it's a happy shopper or they do something with it, are called the Stamping Stars. So look at that. I could not have <laughs> that gorgeous or those gorgeous stars. I love that. So I've got a little die for the stockings. I've got dies for um, to cut out that uh, star. But also, so that one cuts out that, like that, which is what I um, and then I've got these beautiful um, intricate dies as well um, that I just think are gorgeous. I love them. Um, so a couple of things there which we can cut out with these ones and some dots. What are the dots for? Oh, they're probably, well, they're either probably to go on there. Yeah, maybe they're just to go on there. Who knows? <laughs> um, but, I, but I love that. And I love, get, I, love, love getting, I love Christmas and stuff. I love Christmas crafting. Um, so that is, so it's called Tidings and Trimmings and the, dies are Christmas trimming dies so I like that and then one of my favorite things in the catalogue was this all squared away um because you know I quite like clean contemporary and I'm gonna say it goes with this one um but so simple design so you could almost have any bit of car turned into pattern paper with some swirls some wavy lines dashes bubbles you are so worth celebrating. Happiest of birthdays to you. I love that. I love it. Um, but, 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 but. Look, you get these as well. So you can have these individually. So, oh, let's, oh, I've got good old strong tape there. So four squares. Let's leave them there for a minute. Um, that are exactly the same. So I could have this wavy background and then... Well, then that way actually and then I can die cut out these flowery shapes as well and um, that can go over those so you can use those independently um, as backgrounds and things um, but you can use them with these dies but look how cute are these so you get four different ones different flowers so you could use all the same you could just use the die cuts just use the stamps but you've also got some other really contemporary flowery bits there as well so I like that I do, and I love, if you see the um, catalogue, in fact, let's get the catalogue. Hold on. Hold on. I love the samples they made. Now, let me find out what page it's on. So, all squared away is page 117. Look. So, that is the stamps used on their own with just some embellishments and a um, label punch. I think there's a punch that's still around um so they're just that they're, there's just stamped background so that's the kind of look it gives you um but then you can step it up and you can put those dies over the top and again just embellishments nothing else or you can rock your socks off you've got um, embossed backgrounds you've got cut different colors i love it what do we think i love 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 that so yes i'm excited to make something with that when i get my um Get myself in gear you know i have to show you these things first before i'm allowed to put them away um so now i've shown you i can start playing so all squared away love 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 it um i see that's coming to a card club near you soon <laughs> oh let's get rid of that so what else have i got i got artistically inked so look at this i love that um i mean this is taking me back to <laughs> the back of quite a while um, to when we did play with alcohol inks. Now, you can do that with um, our blends and some isopropyl alcohol um, to make these kind of backgrounds, but to have metallics in there as well, they are gorgeous. Um, now, I could show you, well, I would have showed you the pattern paper that goes with it. I've just realised it's all gone on paper shares and team trainings and things like that. Um, so I haven't got it to hand, but let's have a look. Let's let's have a look so you've got these look kind of looks like a rose so sort of, sort of flowers but then these just inked backgrounds nice hello best wishes thanks nice happy birthday i've not seen that actually might use that in a minute actually <laughs> to change what i'm gonna make um and what are the dies that go with them i can't even remember so rubbish what have we got oh oh look at these Okay, so these ones here will cut out these kind of shapes here. So one, two, three shapes. Um, and some other bits, that for there and all that. But look, beautiful, nice, long foliage. 
But look at this. <gasps> this, I love this. Oh, she says, oh, it's got extra strong tape now. Look at that. I should probably show you again. How beautiful is that? You don't need much more. So a nice inky inked background, but how beautiful is that? I want to use that now. <laughs> God, just in white or black, how, how effective is that going to be? So gorgeous, gorgeous dye. Love that. Right, so we'll put that away. So that goes with that in the artistically inked. What else have I got? This, this is one of my favourites. Oh, I've got some dyes that I don't know what that goes with. Oh, I'll have a look in a minute. Um, so this was good. What's not to love? Super simple, mixed fonts, bit scripty, bit some serif or whatever it is. <laughs> but ha happy birthday, happy friend, happy birthday. Hello. Thanks. So, so same words. Thanks, birthday. Hello. Hello, friend. Happy. Um, but you can do any, anything. So you could say hello, friend. Hello, friend. <laughs> Whichever you want. They're exactly the same. And then for some reason, they put some random crosses in there. Don't know what that's for. <laughs> and they made it 11 instead of 10. That is the most random. Let's put some crosses in there. And I bet they are. Oh, there. Yeah, look. How random. Never mind, but lo love, love the fonts, love them, be able to mix it. Um, love it, love it, love it, right. Um, and I got watercolour shapes as well. So I actually got this free. We get lots of free stuff when you're a demo. Um, so photopolymer, but as simple like as that. Um, and good background, so just, um, there'll be, I just wondered if that, yeah. So, so that kind of colour wash effect, so let's just look at the front. Um, Look, so you'll have darker in the corner and lighter in the middle so you could see sentiments behind it or something like that. We do these in a lighter colour and stamp over them in darker colours. Um, so I like that as well. Um, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I think I bought this by mistake. Let's have a look. I think I know what it is. It's bad, isn't it? But I've got two dies that don't go with anything and I think... Yes, it is. Okay, so all out there, they took away my stitch shape dies. Um, but this is my way round it. <laughs> so I've now got lots of stitch shape circles. Um, so you can either do those all in one, or you could just put a bit of paper over one and do one. Um, or you can yeah, put a sheet over and you'd cut all those out in one go. And perhaps I need to do a load of those in white and leave them in a bag somewhere. Um, but also rectangles. So again, you can have all three on a, P on a card and lift them up. Um, you, these could be like peekaboo holes because they leave a dot on the outside, so on the negative and on the positive that you pop out. Um, they've both got them on both. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can either use them to create holes in the, or apertures, to give us the correct name, um, apertures on the cut on your card or you can use the positives that come out and actually use the rectangles and the circles so that's why I did buy that I do know why I bought it <laughs> but it doesn't go with anything or it doesn't coordinate in a bundle because as you know if you buy things in a bundle you get 10% off um, and I loved this I can't wait to use this so I probably should have opened these before but I say it's just been one of those days weeks to be fair are you ready oh, I think it might be upside down yeah, you're not good. <laughs> Are you ready? I love this. I can't wait to use this. This is just, it's not going to cut anything out. It's going to leave this beautiful stitched background on a card. I'm not going to need much more than that on a card with some sentiment, maybe a bit of ribbon, a bit of bling, and not much else. Can't wait to use that. Right, what have we got? Uh, Ali likes the all squared away. Oh, Kim, you're here. Hi, Kim. Yes, you caught me live. Um, Deb loves it. Yes, you're right, Deb. They could be kisses. You could be absolutely right there. Well done. <laughs> Maybe they are. I don't know. Just random to me. Um, oh, let's put that around the right way. Okay. So that is stitched greenery dice. It's just a great big background. So you can either do a whole piece, a whole um, card, or you can just, you know, again, if I took one of those rectangles or something, you could just do a certain portion. I love it. Love it. Right. Can't wait to see how that comes out. Might have to do a bit in a minute, actually. Right. What else did we have? So there wasn't, the rest is random stuff, to be fair. And um, so I've got a couple of embellishmenty bits. 
Um, so these are the last year's in colours. So they're only here for another year, but different embellishments. So what they call them, square gems. They're kind of multifaceted, so they've got a bit of a shimmer on there. Can you see those? So just something different. We, last year we had, they changed them to change it. Last year we had um, like little kind of pearls. So these are different. Um, also got these which are shaker shapes. It looks like my shaker shapes have come undone. There's some shaker shapes in my bag. Well, that's why it's in a bag. I don't even open those. That You know they're just going to go everywhere. But great for, as the name suggests, shaker cards. So just little shapes. We've got, we've got hearts, circles and stars in there. Might have to pick out all the stars, obviously. <laughs> so, oh no, it's different things, different cards. So all the pink are hearts. All the yellow are stars and all the green are circles. Okay, I like that. They're nice. Um, good old, back again, simply elegant trim. Gold and silver trim, great for Christmas. I'm a bit ahead of myself there. Um, I bought some random ribbon. I do like to buy all the ribbon in the catalogue. Now, quite a lot carried over, to be fair. And I want to say, oh no, that's velvet, that's why. So what have we got? So this, even though it looks like it's sheer, it's actually velvet and it's one of my favourite colours, mint macaron. Um, so that's a velvet ribbon. Okay, I'm going Christmas, I think. I would use that more Christmas. And then what else have we got? This is just jade and gold. So a nice weave with gold fleck through in just jade. You've got a similar thing here with, um, it's called metallic ribbon, which is flirty flamingo. So a kind of a pink with a gold fleck in it. And then, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking, what was this? Um, this is Evening Evergreen, so it's quite dark. I don't know if you can see that. Let's, I'm going to open that one. Let's, let's have a look. Oh, okay, it's bigger than I thought. There we go. So it's kind of almost a chevron. You can just about see that, can't you? A chevron-y. So nice. Nice for bows. Ni nice and flat. You know, good. yeah, good. I like that. Like that. So that's my ribbons. That was my embellishments. I've got a few embossing folders, and that's about it, to be fair. I think I've had enough the last few a few weeks, to be fair. Um, let's do embossing folders. So, I, again, I like to get all the embossing folders. So... Checks and dots. So these ones go through the mini machine. So look, they're that size. And that's the normal kind of um, A6 and a bit size. Um, so they're your different sizes. So quite a few that go through the mini now. So let's go. Checks and dots. So you can't, you can't, you can't go wrong with a dot. Oh, I've just realised I've frozen. Hold on. Come on, we're back in the room. <laughs> yeah, you can probably hear me, but can you see me? Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. You've caught up. Fantastic. So checks and dots, as the name suggests. So they are, can't go wrong with a check, check and a dot. So two embossing folders. There we go. All thin, thin ones, normal ones. So check and a dot. You just about see those, can't you? Not really. You can see them on the front better. So there we go. Check and a dot. <laughs> so I've got those ones. I got a wintry, look at me, we're not even in summer yet, and I'm going all winter and Christmas. Um, so some bra pine branches and some snowflakes and swirls, so I like those. So two in there as well. A thank you and a hello in all languages. So not even just the languages that we have, all sorts of languages. Um, so there's a big thanks and there's the big hello. Bonjour. Then with the bigger ones, I, I, didn't, I haven't gone for the In The World set yet. It scares me a little bit. It's a little bit crazy. Um, <laughs> but I do like the embossing folder. I do like a bit of leopard print, I'm thinking, on my cards. Um, so I've got that. Um, and then this Pretty Flowers embossing folder as well, which has a, a, a beautiful background as well. So that's that. Two more things and that's it. Um, a bit random. These are Paper Lattice. So, um, let's have a look. Oh, it's like a... So, obviously, it's, it's um, laser cut. Let's have a, put it on there. Um, yeah, look, nice. So, just nice as a background. Again, I quite like that. Again, little sentiment here. Not, don't need much else, do you? 
But is it, I mean, it looks like a craft. So it would take our inks, so d darker inks more than anything. Um, same colour each side. So yeah, so our blending brushes and inks would colour these um, as much as craft craft can be coloured. Um, might look nice white ink blended over the top of it, actually. Um, so yeah, so they're all done. So they're nice. I like those. Oh, she says, can't get it back in. How many are in a pack? Uh, ten. So you get ten in a pack of those. And last but not least, um, random. So this goes with the game, the thing that on the thing. <laughs> the thing on the front page. Um, so it's called Expressions in Ink Ephemera. Ephemera pack. So oh okay, so duck. <laughs> So die cut, so either white or gold, whichever you side you prefer. Um, so it's easy to see on here. So you've got a couple of frames going on, um, hexagon frames, leaves and that. So you could colour these, any colour you wanted to. Blends would work on these. They're quite a shiny, so it would have to be um, alcohol based. So blends would work, um, or I say you can go gold. Um, now is it all the same? Let's have a look. That's the same as that is the same as that, is the same as that, is the same as that. So one, two, three, four, five sheets of those. Um, and then, and what is this? Just random sequins. Okay. Kind of iridescent-y, pinky, holographic-y sequins. But nice. I like those. And I like the fact that they're white on the back because it means that you don't have to have gold. Gold's good, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you might want the green leaves. Oh, look, and now I've lost... Oh, don't do that, because that's all cut to size. <laughs> so that's it. So what do we think of those? What do we think of those? Morning, Amy. Um, that, that's it, and that's all my shopping done for... Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Hold your horses. Got some other things to tell you about. So, boxes. Look. So these are cute. So I haven't bought the peach sweet yet. Um, but I love it. I love it. But I did buy these. Now I thought, so these are mini, <laughs> let me get it open, mini jam jars. Now, how cute are these? So six in a pack, but they come in a bag. Look, I put it in my hand, you get an idea of how big they are. They're reasonably big. They're a good size. Um, they're plastic. I thought they were going to be glass. I don't know why. I can't remember how much they cost, so I didn't know. But yes, a plastic with a kind of, you know, aluminium lid, whatever it is. Um, but I know lots of people who are putting their embellishments in here. So brads and sequins and those shaker things would look lovely in there. Um, so all sorts of things. So not only do they make great gifts, um, and you can obviously cover the tops, wrap ribbon round, put labels on, all sorts of things. Make your own jam, give it away if that's what you want, because that's what <laughs> they're there for. Um, but I love those. Oh, she says, good job they're not glass. <laughs> That'll be why. <laughs> so, yeah, so six in a pack. Um, and I can't remember how much they were, but they weren't that expensive. But good, good for embellishments. I've got some little shelves up there, so I'm feeling I might have to um, row, the, row them up, line them up in a row. Um, so the other thing I'm going to tell you is it's a bit of a sneaky peek, really. So you can't get these yet. Everything I've shown you so far, you can get. Um, but... That we are starting, you may have noticed in the new catalogue, there were no kits. And we do love a kit, and I love a kit especially. Um, so I bought a couple because next month, um, Stampin' Up! are launching their um, kits collection, as they're calling it. Um, so there's going to be 10 kits released, um, and you can buy however many of those, of whatever kit you want. You can buy all 10, you can buy 10 of 10, whatever you want. Um, but they're not necessarily going to be around for the year. So once they've sold out, they've sold out. Um, and they're going to interchange them. And when they sold out, they're going to replace them. And if they've been around for a while, they're going to replace them. But they didn't want them tied to a catalogue timetable. Um, so these are three of what there is. Um, so two are non-stamping kits. And I think the prices are just fab. So they come in this box. They come exactly like this. Um, and then in this box, so for example, this one, I love this one. So you keep the box for all your bits and bobs or whatever you want to do. Um, or send some good, good box of posting. <laughs> and this is this kit. So it's a Notes of Cheer card kit. So you can see here, three of those cards, three of those cards, three of those cards. So nine cards, all the envelopes. These ones have scalloped envelopes. And if I turn it over, 
all the bits, including glue. Are they glue dots or are they embellishments? I think they might be embellishments. Yeah, I think they're the back of embellishments. But look, even mini dimensionals, but the envelopes and everything. So you do not need anything else to put this kit together. It's £11.25. £11.25! How fab is that? I love it. <laughs> I think I'm going to be making lots of them and loving them. Um, Because, yeah, I, sometimes you just want to be a bit creative, but you don't want to sit down and design and... Oh, you just want to go, oh, I want to play and come away and go, oh, isn't that nice? I like those. Um, so, yes, and that is one notes of cheer card kit, 11 quid. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I love, I love, a, you know, spend an hour and you've made nine cards. You can be so proud of yourself. Um, here's another one. So this is a, again, no stamping, just, um, just this kit. So this was petal notes card kit. So again, nine cards, again, no stamping, I'm not going to say, so these must be, they must be already printed um, in those, in, in there as a die cut. Um, but all these things added individually, I love it. Again, envelopes, nice envelopes, but yeah, £11.25. But, uh, so I, I can't remember how many are at £11.25 and how many, how many stamping and how many aren't, aren't stamping. But this one is a stamping one. So, I love this. This is my favourite. So the stamping ones are £18. But I still think, so you get the kit like that. So again, nine cards, three, three and three. I love those. <laughs> um, no matter the weather card kit with the envelopes and it will have the twine and everything in it. But you get a stamp set and an ink spot. Look at that. How cool is that? And this is great. So look, let love grow. You are capable of amazing things. No matter the weather, we're in this together. Wishing you brighter days ahead. So some clouds, hearts, three hearts, flowers, right? Love it. Love it, love it. And an ink spot as well. So you literally don't need, you might need some glue, but you probably don't even need that. No, because look, there's glue dots there. So you get an acrylic block. I mean, come on, this is 18 pounds. <laughs> I just think it's crazy, but I love it. I love it, love it. Whole sheet. <gasps> look, they've spot. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a bit excited, aren't I? Um, a whole sheet of proper size dimensionals, not even mini ones. So literally, you don't need nothing. You don't need nothing. You don't need nothing. You could literally take this away with you. Go, right, I'm going away, but I'm going away in the UK for a staycation. I want a craft, but I don't want to take my entire craft room with me. Take a couple of these. I mean, what's not to love? £18, keep the stamp set, keep the um, acrylic block, and keep the stamping spot. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I love them. Um, and I love that they're not all around for a year. Um, I, I love them. <laughs> you know me. I love a kit. Love a kit. Right, so what do we think of those? What was, what was your favourite kit out of those ones? As I say, not available until next month. I will tell you when you can get those, but I just think they're amazing. So I thought I'd give you a sneaky peek as I'm there. So what else have we got? Um, hi, Marion. <laughs> late, better late than never, absolutely. Amy likes that kit. Which kit, Amy? Which one's your favourite? Um, you don't need to apologise for being late at all. Don't worry, Tina. Um, but... What am I going to do? So today I'm going to show you, because what would be, I've been going in half hour, we haven't done anything yet. Um, so last week I showed you some lovely in-colour cards um, using the colour and contour, um, which I can't even find now because it's, it's under all my stuff. <laughs> Hold on. There it is. So I thought I'd carry on because I, I, I haven't finished playing with it yet. Um, so I'm going to show you some things that I've done and just we're going to make a simple card because it's all about... I'm all about the simple at the moment, but I'll show you some other things as well. So, let's show you. So, card number one, this little speckledy dot thing here. I mean, look at me. Look, this might be, I might have to change my bit of paper. I think it's the last page, isn't it? Oh, no, look. Because you can't be looking at that, can you? Look at it. It's all, it's all a bit of a mess. That's better. Now you can actually see and not be distracted by the messy bottom. Nobody likes a messy bottom. Right, so that's speckled there. So and you, might, you might just sit there and go, well, what am I going to use that for? Well, look, there you go, a little rainbow card. 
So these are our five in colours, remember? Pale Papaya, Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent. Go me, I've learnt them already. Um, so you can just do that, create a little splodge across the top with a sentiment. Um, keeping in the in colours and grey tones, so this flower here, and this is this, the splodges. So as I said to you, so this is not supposed to colour it perfectly. Um, it's just supposed to kind of add a bit of, you know, abstract watercolour effect to the flowers. Um, so yes, it's not supposed to be, but you can obviously stamp in the grey and you can um, colour however you want to. But that's what that stamp is for and that's it done. So super simple, super simples. So then, I love this. This is my favourite. I don't know why. It's just sim simple, simples. Um, so again, you've got two of the Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, Power Papaya, and again with that grey. So I did change. So I, I took that card as inspiration, and I made a couple actually. So one is this one here. So I've taken it up a notch. So black. So I think grey works really well with these colours. Um, they, this is uh, Smoky Slate. Um, your basic grey would work as well. It's quite a dark grey, but it would still work. Um, but black, so you know me. So I've only added this, literally, this congratulations in black here. And um, you know me, I have to have a slither of black card. If I've got black on there, then I have to have a slither of black somewhere else. Just to kind of, just to even it out a little bit. Um, so that is literally that stamp there. So the background stamp without the bit over the top, this bit. Um, just done like that with the congratulations over the top couple of rhinestones job done don't need anything more than that I don't think um, but I did go and you can see so I do, I do like these colors with black but look at the difference between the gray nice subtle subtle and black which is quite harsh um, but if you like that effect you know that that can work as well um, so I've just got done literally black ink um, over there as well. I haven't put any rhinestones or anything on that. Um, but yeah, I do like that. Um, so I think what I'm going to try and do is, is kind of do this card again, but I'm going to do it in the greys and see what the differences are. Um, but I was having a play as well. I mean, if you want to be scared, look at that. Woo! That's all a little bit whoop, whoop, whoop. That's a bit busy, a bit busy for me. Um, but I still quite like it. Still quite like it but I thought I was going to do that a bit bit softer and um, but I'm going to go for these in the greys instead so that's what we're going to make today but just shows you so same same look same stamp same in fact if I got rid of those two all of these cards look let's do this properly all of these cards use the same flower but look different don't they same but different oh let's move you over there a bit there we go get rid of those so just showing you what a difference the kind of black make as well and um, so amy likes the butterfly kit yes i well, obviously i like that i got that too and <laughs> um, the kits are perfect for for beginner stampers well beginner crafters full stop because as i say not all of them have stamps involved so you don't have to so it's just a kind of creative outlet um, so absolutely perfectly priced for um for gifts absolutely um and ali says they're lovely thank you ali um but yeah so going from super simple to a bit more stepped up to to crazy town a little bit over the top <laughs> so let's go and let's make a card um right so i was gonna go so i bought my i've gone polished pink as my base smoky slate as my layer and there's my white as well. Um, so I have, let's go, so smoky slate first. In an actual fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my sentiment first. Because on these, if you, um, if you stamp your flowers too close together, your sentiment won't fit in the gap. So top tip, do your sentiment first. And then stamp the flowers around the... Um, the, what's it called? Something flowers around sentiment. That's the word. Um, so I have my Simply Chamois. This is my... <laughs> and it's still damp from last week, actually. So it's still got... It's dry around the edges. It's gone a bit hard around the edges, but it's still wet in the middle. And dry enough for what I need. Or wet enough for what I need, should I say. 
just go like that. So I'm going to do, so smoky slate we're using. I do love a grey. My whole house is grey and white. Don't know what I'm going to do when that goes out of fashion. <laughs> right, so I'm putting my card on the grid paper. Um, I might even, I might go, oh, oh, I might go differently. Because if I'm straight on the grid paper, then I've got a good chance of being straight or as straight as can be um, on there. So next I'm going to, look at me, I've got all these that I haven't cleaned yet. You can tell me, that's, that's how I was getting carried away, can't you? Right, there we go. Oh, make sure it's dry. That'll do. Okay, so I'm going to do um, the grey first. So the outside first. Now, as I said to you, these, so I can know where I'm going then. So I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go one there. And it doesn't have to be a straight line. I'm going to go one there. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I might have to encourage five. Let's go. So what's that? That's only three. My odd, odd. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go. I'm going to go different again. <laughs> I've just had a flash of inspiration. I'm going to have to get some more colours out though. No, I'm going to go pink. I've just remembered. Might not have any more. I might have a little bit off there. Now remember, because these are photopolymer stamps, they don't have the sponge like the red rubber has. So for, if for any reason you're not um, you're printing, it's not coming out quite right. Just put. I grabbed my mouse mat earlier. Um, a bit of sponge. So mouse mat, um, the, the mat of your stamparatus. If you've got a stamping platform, any of those work. Um, and I might just. Yeah, <laughs> no, but this is why I go, I, go, I go too much and I get carried away and I should know when to stop, but I don't. Right, that's it. Put, it. put it down. Put it down. Okay, so I'm going just pink on this. Um, so polished pink. So super quick cards. I'm all about the super quick at the moment. So, yeah, that is polished pink. Um, so this does not match up. Well, it possibly does somehow or other, but it doesn't, certainly doesn't match up um, perfectly. So I'm going to take that as my guise to not match it up perfectly. Um, so, there we go. So as long as I'm roughly over it, there you go. I've got a bit to let, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. This is the great thing about stamp sets like these, is that it's not supposed to be perfect. You can forgive yourself. For not doing it perfectly. Oh, I've even smoothed that as I went down, but it doesn't matter because it won't show. <laughs> so as long as my kind of middle is over the middle, honestly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. And that's why it's great. Oh, look at that. Got that. Oh, look at me. Get a bit that's kind of how it should be. And I might just do a splodge like that. There we go. Is that it? I've got them all. Yes, that's it. So, do I see? That? <laughs> that's how I clean the stamps. Yes, no, I do clean them properly before I put them away. So, polished pink on smoky slate. Look at this. So, how easy is this? Because now you could have gone round here, and I had to stop myself, as you know, because th that's how I ended up with that card. I was going to do a bit more subtle, but now I just got carried away. And look, it's just a bit busy. It's nice, but it's a bit busy. It's a bit busy. Um, and sometimes I struggle with leaving white space. It's like, no, leave the white space. Now I could... Oh, it doesn't matter if I've got it upside down for the moment because I'm not sticking it down on my base card. Oh, there we go. So the tiniest of borders, normally I leave about half a centimetre border, but I've gone tiny borders, um, so it's literally just a slither on there. Um, I'm folding the card base in half, so this is just A4 cut in half, so it's an A5 piece of card cut in, folded in half to create an A6 card. Um, so you can either lay this flat, looks fine flat, but I'm actually going to raise it on dimensionals, 
Remember your postage. If you are posting, the more dimension you add and the more layers you add, the you're going to start having to send it as a large letter instead of a normal letter. But up to you how many you want to put. I put six in. You can put a hundred if you want to. <laughs> Who else's dimensions come off that easy, huh? Right. So. to make sure my borders are all right that looks pretty straight look how I love that I love that just like that do I feel the need for some um, rhinestones I haven't got many left I'm gonna to need to get myself another pack of these already I'm also feeling the need now to do these cards in every color so there's the pinks. Yeah, I'm, why am I feeling the need to do a whole matching set again? So I'm going to put, I'm going to put little ones now, just round the sentiment. Oh, she says, they're self-adhesive, <laughs> which is handy. But I'm just going to put three round the sentiment, because always odd numbers, and in a triangle-esque kind of a way, but not a perfect triangle, it's got to be a skew with triangle. That's it. I like that. I like I didn't go all over. I like I do like that. Although now I'm wishing the sentiment was down a bit. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. That's it. How quick was that? I'm gonna. I am gonna make. I'm gonna make them in every colour. Oh, why do I feel the need to do that? So all the five in colours. But there you go. Pink with um, grey. But all the colours go with grey. So they all look great. But again, <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and do it now because I've got to go and get all my card out and cut it all to size. And you'll be watching me for half an hour, just cut card. Um, but I'd pre-done that. So, uh, yeah, what do we think of that? But I do, I do love this stamp set. I'm, I love it so much I can't find it. There it is. I mean, you can never have too much flowers. Some really nice sentiments. Thank you for everything. You're absolutely amazing. Here for you now and in better days ahead. Um, I just love it. But that was it. I didn't think it was going to take could be that easy, but let, let's bring them all back in. So, bolder with the black, simpler there. There's with the grey again. And I've run out of space now, haven't I? <laughs> Hold on. You're not going to see it, are you? There you go. Purple, <laughs> Ali wants a purple card. <laughs> Amy loves the card. So simple. So, they're all so simple. In fact, look, I've covered up that now. No, we'll put that there. Oh, there you go. You can still see it. Um, yeah, so always good. So it doesn't matter what flower you've got, to be fair. If you've got an outline of a flower and some way of colouring it, I could have stamped all these in the grey and got my um, polished pink marker pen or blends. Um, and just coloured them all in so they were all coloured perfectly. And that's another way of doing it, but it's not as quick, is it? Um, but yeah, I do I, I love that. That's simple, super simple. So I was going to go line, but there you go. Sometimes you just need to go off-piste a little bit. Um, but that is it. I can't believe that literally took about five minutes, didn't it? Um, but I will make the rest of them um, quickly. And when I upload the photo later, you will see all five of them there as well. So, um, yeah, they won't take long. I'll, I'll even time myself. But uh, I feel we would go over the hour if because I, I'm not prepared and I haven't got them all to hand. That wasn't my intention, you see. <laughs> but that's what happens. This is what happened this morning. I was going this. Um, so I made that this morning and I made this this morning. Um, just, yes, keep, keeping it simple. Stamps, ink and paper. Keeping it simple. Um, but yeah, showing you that. But they, I mean, that's still stamp, stamps, ink and paper. Um, you could cut that out by hand, but I did cut it out with a die. I finally worked out how the die does fit with the, um, the outline. Um, so that I actually cut it out properly. Um, but yeah, I like that. So, that, I mean, that's it for today. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing next week. But as I say, don't forget that if your shopping list is more than £100, look at the Join Plus offer. 
um, because it's, it's crazy not to get £154 of your choice. It's not my choice or anyone else's choice, it's your choice out of the new catalogue. Um, you for just 99 pounds posted crazy not to and then you get a discount as well um and say even if you hang around for a few months see how you fancy it um and then decide it's not for you you just drop you don't have to give everything back you don't have to pay the full price or anything like that so you can take it for a test drive as we see say um and decide what you want to do um, if you really that's really not for you and your order is over 200 don't forget you'll get 40 pounds of stamping rewards um, if your order is over 200 don't forget card club finishes um, you can only sign up for this month until I keep saying Sunday that's complete rubbish um, when's the 14th Friday it's always the 14th but for some reason I think that's a Wednesday I think it was a Wednesday last month um, so yeah 14th so Friday you've got to sign up for that so you can either have a one-off kit you can or you can um, get the PDF and videos only if you're a demo or you you don't live in the UK um, yeah I mean I think that's it I'll bring it back to me hello <laughs> Um, but yeah, hopefully you've seen some more goodies. So no new goodies. No more new goodies arriving next week. Um, but as I say, I have no idea. Oh no, I do know. I do, what I do, I sort of know. I'd completely forgotten. I'm coming live every day next week. I'd forgotten all about that. <laughs> Oh dear, it's been one of those weeks. I don't know what's going on. Um, so yes, yeah, so in fact, I'm going to be live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday at midday on this page every day next week. And we're just going to be crafting. I'm not going to be showing you new goodies because I'm not going to have any. <laughs> but I might be using some of my new goodies. So um, yeah, I might have to have had a play before then. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So you can see me every day next week. Completely forgotten about that. Um, so yeah. Join me for that. <laughs> right, I'm going to love and leave you and um, I'll see you every day next week then. See you then. Bye.